What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, we went through the uh, Pokemon Tower, and we actually saved uh, Mr. Fuji from, well, he wasn't kidnapped, he's just, you know, kept hostage and all that stuff. And now, in this episode, I have chosen to actually go to Saffron City instead of going ahead and, you know, going to either, well, to Fusion City in one way or the other. So, let's go right ahead and do that. Now, off screen I did, I went to Celadon, Celadon City to go get some water. Because, uh, yeah, that's all we need to do. We need to go get some water and, uh, you know, hydrate every single one of these guys who's blocking the way. Yeah, it's only water, guys. Only friggin' water. Um, let's see, what else? What else are we talking about right here? Now, in this episode, I am kind of hoping that we actually, we can actually go and, um, take care of the events of Team Rocket in, uh, what was it, uh, in, in the Silph Co, because, yeah. So he's like, whoa, boy, I'm porched! Huh? I can have this drink? Gee, thanks! And, well, just like that, we are giving everybody a, a you know, a cup of water or some sort, and, uh, well, we can actually go straight to Celadon or Saffron City. So as you can see, guys, Celadon or Saffron City in all its glory and well as you probably can tell Team Rocket is already here and yes he is taking us new so that means we can actually go here and we can actually battle everybody uh, and save Silco and all that crud and well before we do anything else we need to actually grab uh, a little something something for ourselves because uh, yeah uh, it, it might prove useful now Let's see, there is Mr. Psychic. Let's go right ahead and grab this. And he's like, wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. And bam. We got ourselves the TM29, which is Psychic. And, well, you guys already, you guys have already seen what's been going on, guys. I have been saving all of the best uh, TMs for a little bit later on because I do intend on using the Missing No Cheat to actually, you know, get, well, to actually uh, make these Pokemon learn these new moves. Uh, without any problem. Now, in this episode, we are going to self coat and we're going to be taking care of uh, a little bit of a uh, something, something right here with uh, Team Rocket. Now, there might be a few Pokemon a little that, that's going to be overpowered and all that stuff, but this is the mission right here to actually have our Pokemon uh, increase their levels with, while they're in here. Now, I did include Gigalith into the team because why not? Look at this. This Pokemon is both a flying and psychic type Pokemon. A great combination and that's something that we've been missing and that is you know a psychic type Pokemon it does have some pretty good moves whirlwind psi wave psi beam hypnosis I would give it psychic but yeah not going to not going to do that yet so let's go right ahead and uh, well explore team rocket the well explore the self code the best way we know how as you guys already know this place is going to be packed with a whole bunch of Pokemon trainers mainly Team Rocket members, and you better have a lot of healing items because, uh, yeah, they are not going to take it easy on you. And uh, the reason why I have one uh, one spot open is because I kind of want to know what Pokemon we get when we defeat uh, Gary. So, here we go, taking on a Rocket, and he does have five Pokemon, and this guy has a Swoobat at level 25. And, well, here comes Gigalift, level 21. And, well, we're going to be switching up our Pokemon right here. Now, Gigalith actually does have a a better chance to actually do a better here than uh, well, Spoon. Now, the reason why I switched Spoon was because, well, isn't it obvious, guys? Spoon, uh, not really doing much, especially in this, whole, like, in this whole area right here. There's not a lot of advantages for Spoon. So I guess I'm going to wait a little bit later just to actually like, make it grow and stuff because I am in need of an Electric-type Pokemon. And, well, here we go again, taking on a Woobat. And, well, we're going to be going with crunches, bites, and everything else in between right here. And, well, here comes a Gothita. And, well, let's see, I just, I'm going to continue on right here with Killer Croc. Now, I do have a small goal, and that is to try and evolve both Killer Croc and Oinkinator in this, uh, in this little adventure right here for the Team Rocket uh, battle. Uh, I think Killer Croc is like three levels away. And Oinkinator is a level away, so we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what happens right here. So here has uh, here comes a Wajog. And, well, let's go with a low kick attack. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. 
Low kick attack. Does the thing, and Oinkinator is kicking some butt now. Here comes an Emolga. If I... If I'm not mistaken... Yeah, I did have an Emolga at one point. So, let's see. Let's see. Uh, nah, yeah, let's go with Killer Croc. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Killer Croc, ready to kick some butt. And, well... Uh, Molga is a flying type Pokemon. I can't use any of the ground type moves that I have right here with me. But the crunch attack will actually do well. And well, look at that. Another victory for us right here. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. So let's move on right here. See what we got. And well, let's see. We're gonna be again, I said guys, we're gonna be battling a lot of Pokemon trainers. This could be helpful for our leveling up and all that stuff. That, and we can actually get some Master Balls while we're at it. And, well, this guy's like, no kids are allowed! Okay, alrighty, no kids are allowed. And, well, there we go. Taking on a, a Sandile. And, well, we got Gigalith right here, so can it work? No, it will not work. So, let's go ahead and switch out to Mudslide now. Huh. What kind of, uh, well, what kind of teams can I create? I mean, I was, I was tempted not to get, uh, Gigalift again because, well, you know, I've already had it, I've already had that Pokemon in Pokemon Black, but, uh, in here, I, it's pretty much, I have no choice whatsoever, but look at that, we got fainted, so let's go with Deerling, holy crud, yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're definitely gonna be battling right here. And let's go with a double kick. So, like I was saying, guys, I pretty much do have a nice variety of flying type Pokemon that I can choose. I caught myself a Rooflet. I caught myself a what was it? Uh, what was it? The the the, 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 the what you call it? The Vulture Pokemon. I can't remember its name completely. Volibi, yes. Caught myself a Volibi, a Molga, a whole bunch of flying type Pokemon that could have worked with a team. But you know what? Gigalith seems to be the right Pokemon for this occasion, mainly because, yeah, we're going to be going up against a lot of Pokemon trainers that have Poison-type Pokemon, including uh, Koga himself, when we get to him. Now, another good thing is that I did buy myself a lot of revives, so this shouldn't be an issue. It's just, you know, we got to keep equipped and all that crud. And, well, let's go straight for a Super Potion. And, yes, sir, look at that. Mudslide is a healed up like always. Okay, and well, many of you guys already know how I like to do things with uh, with what you call it, the uh, Silvco. I do like to go, uh, uh, what was it, floor for floor. So it's going to be a while before we get up to the top floor right here. And well, as you can see, we got ourselves a clink. Not a very uh, good start right here. Now we could, we could get clink. I mean, it is both a steel and electric type Pokemon. That 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 could be. That could be the, the right choice for me right here. So, I'll keep that in mind whenever we get to the, uh, what was it, the power plant and whatnot. And, well, this guy has some vice grips. Holy crud. Okay, so here comes Ember Attack. And look at that. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's see. Coming out with a Joltik. Let's go ahead and just continue on with the same thing. Let's go straight for another Ember Attack right here. And, well, slash attack. What will it do? What can it do? There we go. And... Yeah, buddy. Okay. Oinkinator doing his thing. And he's coming out with a Ponyard. Now, this is the first time we're going to be going up against a Ponyard. And, well, let's continue with uh, Ember Assault right here. Because a Ponyard, Dark and... Uh, Dark and uh, which we call it Steel type Pokemon right there, and look at this, Oinkinator finally grows to level 36. So I think you guys already know what that means right there. So look at that, and Oinkinator is finally evolving. Okay, look at this. It's taken us quite a while, but we finally did it, guys. It's you know it's complete. Wow, that is <laughs> that is a scary looking uh. Baconator right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy right here. Or Oinkinator. So here it is, guys. Oinkinator. I don't remember his full name right here. Uh, level 3. Embor. That's what his name is. Embor. Now let's go ahead and take a look at its, uh, you know, its Pokedex entry right here. 
Ambor, the Empire Pig. It can throw a fiery punch by setting its fist on fire with the blaze on its uh, chin. On its chin, its chinny chin chin. Okay, okay. All right. So things are things are looking up, guys. They are looking up. Now we just gotta. Well, we gotta even out our team a little, just because. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We gotta even out our team. So let's move on right here. Let's see what we what else we can actually find. We're gonna be finding some, a lot of trainers and well, let's see, there's another guy right there. And quit messing with us, kid! Uh why won't you make me? Seriously, why won't you make me? Okay. Here we go, going up against a watchdog, and well, Gigalith may have an advantage or something like that? I don't know. Let's see. Let's go with a hypnosis. And it doesn't affect Watchog. And wow. <laughs> Talk about BS. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, switch out to Deerling right here. We don't want to lose. We really don't want to lose against this guy right here. Watchog are... They're basically my uh, my worst enemy. And well, look at that. Super Fang kicks our butt. And here comes a sand attack. And well, there's a double kick. And as far as I'm concerned, yes, we're not strong enough to beat this guy, so we gotta go straight to the evolved form of Oinkinator. And there we go, coming with a Confuse Ray. So now, yeah, this is uh, this is going to be a little scary. So let's go ahead and sweep the leg right here, and yes, sweep the leg we do. Look at that, okay. Watch out. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, yes. And, well, let's see. Coming out with the Duosion. Let's go ahead and go straight to... Good old Killacroc. Killacroc ready. Ready to kick some butt right here for Duosion. And, well, let's go with a Bite Attack right here. And, look at that. Duosion defeated. And, well, let's see. Coming out with another Watch Out. Let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go straight to... Oh, crap. You don't want to pick Deerling, but yeah, it happened. I hate Watchog. I'm just gonna say that right now, guys. I hate Watchog. I really do. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon to Oinkinator right here, and see what else can ha that, that can actually happen. Hopefully, we don't get a Super Fang to us. And well, we were wrong. And well, Super Fang does take half of your HP right there. So let's go straight for a low kick. This will destroy him. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So there goes Rocket. And yes, he does give up. So that's pretty cool right there. That's another defeat for Team Rocket. Now, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. Do I have an Awakening? I do not. Oh, crap. Okay. So that is going to affect us a little bit. So let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon right here. And... Well, I didn't, I didn't actually think... Yeah, I didn't actually think that it was gonna. Yeah, I didn't actually think that it was actually like that we were gonna get, get put to sleep. But knowing uh, Watchog is here and all that stuff, yeah, that kind of bugs me a little. And well, I work for Self Cook. What should I do? Um, I don't know. Do you have a Pokemon? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, whatever. Okay, so let's move on. There's another trainer right here, so might as well wake up Sigilyph while we're at it. And no, there's no Pokemon trainer right there. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So, anywho, guys. Uh, yeah, I've been coming out. Hopefully, I've been coming out consistent with the uh, with the walkers and all that stuff. Uh, how is uh, my day going? I'm pretty much good, guys. I mean, trust me. It took me a while to actually record walkers. It really did, guys. But when you have a whole heap of uh, of stuff to do, take care of, a lot of like chores and whatnot. It just gets hard to just, like, have your priorities in check, and, well, thankfully I found a, a, a time to actually get this whole thing done, and, wow, we're taking on a Purloin right here. This is not cool. Okay, so let's go straight to Oinkinator. So it's, it, it's looking like we're going to be, uh, it, it's looking like the Oinkinator, uh, Oinkinator Killer Croc Shield right here. You need to level up all my other Pokemon to level 30s and stuff. I mean, that, 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 that can only happen, yeah. Oh, man, and I've been switching out Pokemon, so that's probably just one of the other things, too, that's been affecting me, is that, you know, I've been switching out Pokemon here and there, because I can't make up my god dang mind and all that. And, well, here we go with a Killer Croc. Killer Croc, let's go with a Bite. 
Yeah, buddy, let's go. Okay, kill a croc. Does his thing. And it grows to level 38. Now, I could be that guy and give it both its, uh, both a rare candy. That way we can actually, um, that way we can actually evolve it and focus on the other Pokemon. But I kind of don't want to. I probably don't. I don't even know. All right, here we go. Crunch attack onto me. And that right there hits me pretty hard. So here comes a bubble beam attack. And that is a critical hit. So that works for me. Okay, all right. Okay, so that works. And he's like, who are you? I'm um, a GLD. Good old GLD right here. So let's see. Let's move on. Let's see what we got. And let's see. Well, there could be another trainer right here. Yes, he's right there. All right, bring it. Let's just bring it. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Look at this. Okay, so here we go. Taking on another rocket, and he's coming with a sand dial. Now, this is a little tough because, yes, it, it, you know, Gigalith right here. <laughs> it's a flying and psychic type Pokemon. Sand dial is a, uh, what should I call it, a, uh, a dark type Pokemon. So, yeah, that's not going to work, and that could have been me right there. Look at that. Critical friggin' hit! Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so it, it's looking like one of those episodes right here. And, well, here comes a bite attack. And that takes a huge amount of my HP right there. And this nearly defeats him, but this gives me an advantage now because his speed has fallen. So there we go, Bubble Beam attack for the win. And Gigalith has grown to level 23. And here comes a Solosis, so here we go, kill a croc. Kill a croc, okay, alrighty. Kill a croc, ready to go. Okay, let's go with a bite attack. Let's see. Let's see, what else? What else? I don't even know. Okay, so there we go, we have defeated another rocket, and he's like, Arr! Good thing that I, uh, good thing I actually, well, good thing I actually, uh, bought some, uh, some uh some items now jesus okay so i kind of maybe want to go get that key so i can start getting items right now guys uh some of these items could be useful so let's see where this takes me right here because it could take me somewhere important and well look at this we can actually go right here and oh you're not a team rocket member i thought that oh i'm sorry here please take this and we get ourselves the tm36 and it is self-destruct. It's powerful, but the Pokemon that use it is faint, so be careful. Okay, so that's a move that, I mean, we could use never. I mean, I don't like using uh, suicidal moves. That's just me. I don't. And, well, we're going to try and get to... Yeah, we're going to try and get to the key right here. And, yeah, there it is. Okay, so... Yeah, the goal is to try and get all the items around here, guys, because, uh, yeah, we do love our items. We need to power up our Pokemon, and we do need to heal up our Gigalith right here. And, well, we got to revive a Pokemon, so let's go with Deerling. And if we find a third rare candy, then, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a... Oh, crud. I'm going to use one of the rare candies uh, eventually, so let's just give this to that guy, and... Well, let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. He is more than likely going to have a poison type Pokemon, so let's go with Kill a Croc. And, well, let's talk to this guy. I heard a kid was wandering around. That was me, homie. That was me. Okay, alrighty, so here we go. Another rocket. And, well, he's coming out with a Lyperd. Okay, let's get it. Let's go with a Crunch attack, but here comes Lyperd. Being fast as always, which kind of annoys me, and well, there it is. There we go, bite attack. And well, let's go with a mud shot. And now that we're working with something right here, here we go, mud shot. Does its thing. Yes, sir. Okay. And well, that's another guy down. He's like, boom. Yes, boom. We're gonna move right here, and we're gonna move right back. And we're going to try and get the items right here. Now, we are going to be battling everybody. Here we found a card key. So that means now we can actually get whatever item we like. And, well, there is another trainer right here. He's like, show Team Rocket a little respect. That is never going to happen. It will never happen. And 
Well, here we go. Take it on a Duosion. And, well, let's see. Let's go with a Crunch Attack. See what that does. And Duosion, level 33, defeated. Kill a Croc, destroying everybody. Yes. It's probably a good, good idea that we got this guy. Okay, so... Now that we got the now that we got the card or yeah the the card key we can actually grab some stuff. Uh, I'm planning on doing that right now because uh, I have my eye on a, quite a few things. This will actually enable us to go through some places too. So let's go ahead and do that. Bingo! Look at this. We grab that and well let's see. There is another panel right there. Grab this and we found ourselves the TM09. And well let's see this. I think I've been here before. And yeah, so this area will lead to the to the area where Gary is at, and I'm currently not ready for that one right there. Hold on. Yeah, this is where Gary is at, so we're not going to do that right now. Kind of don't want to get my butt kicked by him because he does have some Pokemon that will just wreck me. And here we have a Hyper Potion. I probably should use that at some point. And well, we're gonna be going right here. And we are going to be finding another Team Rocket member. He's like, your Pokemon seem to adore you, kid! They do, huh? It's probably because I'm pretty awesome. I don't know. Pretty awesome. So, here we go. Taking on another Rocket. Okay, let's go with another Rocket. And here comes a Bite Attack. Yep, okay. Alright, alright. Look at that. Okay, so that's another one down. And he's coming out with a Dino. Or a Dino. I don't even know how to pronounce that. But if you guys don't know, it is the dragon type Pokemon. Dragon and dark type, which I kind of made a mistake right here now. This is a Pokemon I kind of want to get, but I don't know. I think you can, you're going to have to actually capture it. All right, so we're going to take some damage. Yes, we fainted. And, well, it is a freaking dragon type Pokemon. It just used Dragon Rage, so we're going to have to give it everything we got right here. So here we go, Seismic Toss. And the Seismic Toss right here does some good damage, but let's go with a Takedown Attack right here. And it missed. Good gravy. Alright, so, yeah, we're not doing we're not doing so hot right now except for this. And look at that. Okay. Look at that. And he's about to use Timber. Okay, I could have used Gigalith on this one. Good God. Okay, so... Hmm. I'm not going to use Gearling. That's going to be bad. Okay, so let's just go back right here. And... Well, let's go ahead and go with a Bubble Beam now. Timber! <laughs> Again, Mudflat Pokemon. And here comes a Submission Attack. Will that work on me? A little bit. Good God. Yeah, so my Pokemon are going to be in for some work. And... Here's another Speed Fallen, and we're going to take another hit. That will make our Pokemon faint. Jeez. Okay, so let's go with Deerling. I know it's a huge disadvantage, but hear me out. It will use Stomp, and there we go. It will get the rest of the experience points. And, well, this right here is kind of giving me a clue of what I need to do now. I got to stick with one team. And good thing for us is that we're in this area right here, which we will be finding a... Or a uh, Nurse Jenny or N Nurse Joy? Yeah, Nurse Joy right here. So here we go. Yes, we are tired and our Pokemon are healed. So now we can actually go back and just destroy everybody with our Pokemon. And well, there it is. Bingo. Alright, let's see what we got. Now, if I was if I was a guessing man, okay, I just thought of it. The Pokemon we might get from uh, defeating Gary might be another starter another starter Pokemon. It only makes sense because it's a water type Pokemon, Oshawa, you know. It could only make sense. I could be wrong again, as always. You know, I'm always wrong. Okay, Swoobat versus uh, Gigalith right here. And, well, let's uh, not take that. And let's go straight back to Kill a Croc. And, well, there we go. What do you got? Oh, my God. Oh my god, okay, so let's go crunch attack, and here comes another water, or another wing attack right here. And, yeah, okay, okay. There we go. And, well, kill a croc, doing his thing, and coming out with a Solosis. We're just gonna continue on with this guy right here. So let's go straight for another crunch attack. 
And well, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we're we're definitely gonna we're definitely gonna level up right here. We are definitely going to level up. Okay, so let's go right ahead and do this again. And bam. Yes. Look at that. Level 39 for Kill a Croc. And, uh, mm hmm. Yeah, we're definitely kicking some ass right here. And, well, let's go back to, uh, to Nurse Jenny or Nurse Joy. You know, it's been a long time. You guys know it's a long time. It's been a long time since, I, it, since I've uh, seen or played any kind of Pokemon games because I cannot remember the actual proper names here. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and start opening some doors. Yes. Okay, okay. Let's see. What do we do right here? Yes. Okay, look at that. Okay. And we are looking at a... An electric type trainer right here and well let's go with mudslide I kind of want to use him it is a ground type Pokemon here so it could actually you know survive against this guy and here we go another scientist ready to go let's see what you got homie let's see what you got and he's got himself a shelmet so could it work against this guy let's see let's go with a mud shot no not that effective its speed has fallen, and here comes an acid attack. Not very effective himself. And, well, let's see. Let's go with a bubbly beam. And the bubbly beam does it. And, well, it takes a, a nice amount of its HP right there. But here we go again. Another bu bu bubbly beam. And, uh, well, the bubbly beam is doing it. And, well, this guy right here is using a bide. So let's go straight for a supersonic. So what can we do? Confusion hurt itself. Yes, okay. So let's finish it off with a little bubble attack. And there we go. Oh, crud! And here comes a Mega Drain. Crap on a Crapsicle Stick. That right there. Oh my god! I had the finishing blow. I literally had the finishing blow right there and I could have used it, but nah. <laughs> you know, it's my own hubris. And here comes a Axu! Okay! Okay, so we're we're taking on some Pokemon right here, and here's an Axu. If you guys don't know, this Pokemon right here is another Dragon type Pokemon, and he is going to be tough. There are multiple Dragon type Pokemon, and this guy is a physical attacker, more of a physical attacker here. And well, let's see. Let's go with a faint attack, and well, let's see. Another defense, and let's go with another faint attack. And here comes that horn attack. Now, yeah, this one's going to definitely mess with me, but I think I can manage just one more hit right here. So here we go. Let's go with a faint attack, and damn it, nearly does it. And, uh, well, let's see. Here we go. Defense has fallen, but we zap him, and Deerling has done it, uh, has done it again. And here we go up against a Ponyard. Let's go straight to Oinkinator right here. Okay, okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, let's go. Let's get it. Low kick attack. Yes. Quadruple damage. Oh, yes. Okay, alright. And uh, Draven has defeated everybody. And he's like, you hammered me. Yes, I did. Okay, so that is done right there. And, well... I should probably take the panel right next to him because that will actually lead me back to somewhere I remember. Okay, right here. So, let's see. We could go right here and there is an item that we could use. So, let's see what we got. And this one is a protein, which is always nice. So, we're going to just uh, use it up because, uh, yeah, don't need so much stuff onto my thing. So, let's give this to Gigalift since it is not much of a physical attacker. And, well, let's see. An elixir, Pokey, uh, Yeah, we do have some stuff here. Holy crud. All right, uh, you know what? We're going to save that for a little bit later on. Let's just uh, heal up our Pokemon. All right, let's see. Right here. And, well, let's give this to this guy right here. Because we are going to be battling a lot of trainers. And, well, let's see. Let's see what this guy's all about. We study Pokeball technology to this floor. Okay. Alrighty. So here we go against a scientist, and he is coming out with a Durant. Wow. 
Not what I was expe expecting, but I'm glad he came out with a steel type Pokemon because this is going to be easy. Yes, okay, and well, yeah, we're gonna be getting some sand attacks right here. Hopefully, oh crud! Come on! Oh wow. Yeah, this this Pokemon's gonna be a little tough. Just a little bit tough. Okay, so here we go. Metal Claw, cr crud. Oh crud, okay, come on! Let's go! Come on, Mudslide, you can do this. Do it for the bitches. And its speed has fallen. Let's go with a Supersonic and... Oh, Jesus, okay. Yeah, this Pokemon is really messing us up. So, let's go with Oinkinator. If all else fails, go with Oinkinator. That's pretty much the, the whole thing. <laughs> and, well, let's go with a Low Kick. And, well, there we go. Low kick misses. Come on! Let's go. Come on. Let's do it. Low kick. Can it do it? Yes, it can. There we go. Alrighty, okay. And, well, he's coming out with a Trubbish. So, this could be a good battle for Gigalith right here because I kind of want to beat it. Alright. Let's go, Trubbish. You're going to get defeated by a side beam right here. Look at this. Okay. And that is super effective and almost defeats Trubbish. And here comes a... Uh, oh, damn. Okay. And... Hope, well, it didn't get poisoned, so that's, that's a good thing right there. And, well, there we go. Finally, a Gigalith uh, victory right there. And he's going to come in out with a Garbodar. So, let's continue on with uh, this good old Pokemon right here. Let's go. Psybeam attack for the win. And that nearly defeats Garbodor, but... As always, we're going to get screwed over with a double slap, which, yeah, it's a uh, friggin' annoying right here. Come on! Psybeam does it. And Garbodor has been defeated. And, well, look at that. Level 24, and it is trying to learn Light Screen. Okay, so this is an actual, like, this is a beneficial move. So we're going to take away Whirlwind since we're, you know, it's not going to happen to us ever again. So, look at that. Light Screen has done it. And here comes a Pharaoh Seed, so let's continue with Oinkinator. Finally, we're getting a nice rhythm. It's working. And, well, here comes Oinkinator. And, well, let's go straight for an Ember Attack. And look at that. Pharaoh Seed has been defeated. Okay. All right. All righty. Let's do this. Okay. So that right there has actually helped us out a little bit. Now, let's see could go there, but let's see. I think that's the Cowardly Lion guy. I call him the Cowardly Lion guy because he's just like, you know, he's a coward. Now, let's see what this is. It's a Pokemon report. Two Pokemon can only be traded when, uh, or can evolve when traded to a Link Cable or reaching level 40. You don't say. Hmm. And it's a Pokemon report. Over 160 Pokemon techniques have been confirmed. Okay, all right. And, well, let's see what this is all about. It's a Pokemon report. Pokemon Lab created Pokemon with a whole game. Hmm. Two different things. Okay, so let's see what this guy's... He's like, what? Should it be here? Okay. Okay, all right. So here we go. Going up against uh, and a juggler right here. Now, okay, so that is... That right there is interesting to me. Uh, that you can actually trade Pokemon through Link Cable, or you can actually, uh, you know, evolve them at level 40, which is pretty cool right here. And, uh, well, Cyber does not affect me, so let's go with a Crunch Attack. And look at that. Gotharita has been defeated, and Mudslide grows to level 26. So this is actually working out pretty well. And, well, here comes a Sigilyph. Let's continue with the same stuff right here. And, well, let's go Crunch, Cap and Crunch, and there we go. Look at that, okay. All right, so, again, everything's working out perfectly. And let's see what this guy has to say. You're only at the fifth floor. It's a long way up to my boss. Okay, so at least we know where we're at now, okay. And what does this guy do? Team Rocket is in an uproar over some intruder. That's you, right? Yep, that's me. That is definitely me. Okay, so... Let's see. 
Um, let's go right ahead and uh, let's get the heck out of here. Let's go to this one. I know that I like to go floor for floor, but now it's just like, well, now that I have the card key, might as well, might as well take advantage of the whole panels and stuff and see what we can actually find. Again, still trying to get some items, and uh, wow, that transported us all the way back to the other side. So, uh, let's see, we already defeated this guy. And, well, let's go right here. And it should be no problem to get healed again. Kind of want to do that. So, let's see. Let's go right here. And, yes, we are tired. Don't give up. Don't stop believing. And, okay, so we've already been right here. Let's go upstairs to see where we're going. And here we have another trainer wanting to battle us. And he's like, silly games. Well, isn't that what we're doing right here? We're just battling. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Isn't that what we're doing? Just being on the silly game. And here comes a clink. And let's see. I want to know something. Mudshot. Super effective. Okay. So, all right. To my advantage right here. And crap. It's a bind attack. And let's speed button. There we go. Okay. Again, I have no patience for... Uh, I really have no patience for, like, a bind or rap attack, only if it's, like, you know, benefiting me. But, yeah. Anywho, let's continue on right here. Pharaoh C looking, uh, very easy to defeat, so let's go straight for an Ember attack. And, uh, well, Pharaoh Seed, the, yeah, getting defeated, getting, uh, destroyed. And, well, look at that. No scientists left, I guess. Let's see. Are you satisfied with beating me? Then go home. No, I'm not going home. I'm going to defeat every single one of you guys. I will defeat everyone. Every single one of you guys. Okay, so let's see. There is a lady right here. Please give me some monies. And wah! I'm scared. Never mind. Okay. All right, so let's see. Let's go right ahead and go right here because there are items that I like to get. And, well, here we go. Welcome to the 10th floor. Oh, it's the 10th floor. Hmm. That means we are one floor away from the main floor, meaning we can, uh... Oh, wow, what the heck? From mud flap to looking like he's on steroids. Good gravy. Okay, so, uh... <laughs> Let's go with Gigalift. Let's go with Gigalift. Okay, all right. And Gigalift looking like, uh... Well, it's not going to get defeated like that. So here we go. Let's get it. Side beam attack. And the side beam attack... Gives it a nice hit. And, well, here comes a bite attack, which is not going to work because look at this. Yes, okay, all right. What now? What now? And, well, Gigalift getting some experience points, which is always great. <laughs> He's stunned. Yes, that's how Stone Cold stun you. And, well, we got one more floor to go to. And here we have a Carbos. Let's go ahead and give that to somebody that's not fast. And here we have a Rare Candy. Which I could use on one person, and here we have no more room for our items. So let's go ahead and uh, weigh some of the stuff right here. So let's see, Carbos. Let's give that to Mudslide since it might be slow. And grab this item. And TM26, which is Earthquake. That is a very, very good move that I could use right away. But there is one little problem, guys. A lot of Pokemon can learn uh, Earthquake. And I, yeah, like I said, I'm going to wait until, you know, we get, we get Surf, we do this, we do that in order to, uh, you know, maximize our findings right here. And, well, let's see. Good God. Yeah, it looks like uh, I'm kind of screwed right here because a lot of these items work. Actually, let's take away the Pokeballs. We don't need Pokeballs right now. And I think, I, yeah, I've used up all my Great Balls, too. Okay, so there is a trainer here, so... Let's see. Let's go ahead and go with Killer Croc. He could evolve at any moment right here. Okay. Bring it. Halt! Do you have an appointment with my boss? Not really. Not really. Yeah, really don't don't have an appointment. Okay, so here we go. Rocket wants the battle, and he's coming with his Patrat. So uh, let's go right ahead and use Killer Croc. And Killer Croc is going to go for a crunch attack right here. Well, look at that. Okay, so let's see. Lillipup. 
Yeah, don't need you. So let's go straight for a crunch attack again. Yes, I am going to get my Pokemon to evolve right here. Hopefully very soon. Oh, I almost thought they was going to evolve. Here comes the Gothrita. So let's switch it up right here. Let's go straight to Deerling. I bet we can beat it. And it's close it, it, It's close to level. Actually, I'm a level above it. So let's go Strategimatize. Leech Seed. Okay, and here comes the Confusion Attack. And good gravy. That took a lot. That really did. Okay, so let's go Faint Attack. Oh, yes. And it is super effective. And here comes another Confusion Attack. That does some damage. And, well, we are using our Leech Seed. So let's go one more time with a Faint Attack. And that gives us victory. And, well, let's see. That Patrat. Okay, you gotta love Patrat. I don't. I definitely don't. It's the pest. It is a huge pest, I'll tell you that right now. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go with a low kick. Look at that. Low kick. Does it trick. Okay. Okay. And, well, comes a purloin, so let's continue on right here. Let's finish it off with our good old low kick attack there. And... Look at that. Purloin has been defeated. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. And let's see. Watch your step. My boss likes his Pokemon tough. Huh. You don't say. And I thought we could get an item. Okay. So the next step is... Uh, hmm. We still have quite a few trainers to actually take on, guys. We really do. Um, I'm thinking we're going to have to go battle them at some point. Like this guy right here. And my Pokemon are loyal soldiers! Well, my Pokemon are my loyal friends. You know, loyal friends. Here we go, going up against a Clang. And this guy looks like a Staryu. It really does. And, well, let's go straight for a Mud Shot. For the win, Clang just clanging on to hit, uh, to, well, clanging on to Gear Life. So here we go again. And there we go. We have defeated a good old uh, Clang right there. And he's like, darn, you weak Pokemon. Wow. So that's how you feel right there. Okay. And, well, let's see. We've already been there. So let's go. Actually, we've already been there. And let's go up here. I think we've already been there. Yeah, we've already been there. Uh, let's see. I think we need to go up there just to, yeah, just to go see what the items are. Yes, okay, so let's see. The bingo, and let's see. Oh, yeah, three items, and we found ourselves an escape rope, which we kind of don't need. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and take away that escape rope. We really don't need it. And here we have a full heal, which, well, we kind of do need. And, let's see. Good God, okay, so... <laughs> yeah, we could eliminate some other stuff right here. God dang it. Okay, so... Uh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Screw it. Gonna toss it. Don't need it. And here we have a max revive. Okay, so we definitely need that one right there. Uh, just in case we take on Gary. Which we kind of... We're probably gonna do in just a little bit. And sh Can't you see I'm hiding? Yes, I, I do see that you're hiding. Okay. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to battle Gary. But first, let's go ahead and get our Pokemon healed because, uh, yeah, yeah, we kind of don't want to be in a disadvantage. And I think I've already been here before, so... There we go. Okay, so let's see. Oh, shoot. More items. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what floor we're at. Excuse me just a little bit. I have to go to the PC, guys. I have to... Yeah, I have to put some items back. Uh, it, yeah, it, it's gonna have to happen. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, guys. I can't find the uh, specific area that I'm at. So we're just gonna be battling some more trainers. Already healed up Pokemon. I am going to just battle everybody. Screw it. It's a must. I have to do it because, uh, well, you know... Uh, somebody's got to. And I, I have to evolve this Croc, uh, Croc Rock right here to its final form. Look at that. Defeated another guy right here. And, well, I'm me, like getting excited for this evolution right here. Okay, so let's see. Let's go straight for another Crunch Attack. 
And, well, let's see. That will actually do some pretty good right there. And, oh, my God. Yeah, we're just going to continue on battling this guy right here with uh, with Croc Rock. See what it can actually happen. And, uh, well, let's see. I put back all the TMs into my PC. And look at this. Level 40, finally. Okay. Um, put all my Pokemon or all my stuff back into the PC because I need to make more space. Apparently there's more items that we have to actually get. And, uh, well, let's see. What else? What else we had to do? I don't even know, guys. Uh, just, uh, make sure to keep your, your, your stuff, uh, you know, keep your stuff ready to go. And, well, yes, we're getting, uh, we're getting hit pretty hard right here by this Watchog right here, so... Dang it! Okay. And that sand attack will actually hurt us. But look, look, look at that. We got a faint attack. Will not miss. Eat it. Okay, and look at this. Deerling grows a level 27. This is perfect right here, guys. Okay, and well, because of that, Killer Croc is finally evolving. Wow. A regular Pokemon has become the best Pokemon that we've had. And look at this. Killer Kill Croc has evolved into Crocodile. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon. The new Killer Croc. Killer Croc. And look at this. It's ground and Dark type. It's a physical attacker AF. And, well, it still has the same moves and all that stuff. So that right there checks off on our list of uh, Pokemon that we need to evolve. Now... We actually have to, actually, we have to battle everybody else right here, guys. I cannot skip on these guys. And, well, this guy's part of the four Rocket Brothers, which, of course, we uh, we have been kicking ass. So, here we go. Coming with this Trubbish, I probably should have switched my Pokemon, but, hey, there it is. Kill a Croc, ready to go. Here goes Mudshot. And there goes Trubbish. Mm-hmm. It's definitely not happy right now. And well, here comes a Swoobat, so let's continue on right here. Yeah, I am I'm pretty much going to have to get like I'm pretty much gonna have to like get myself an electric type Pokemon somewhere. At some point. I just don't know where. And well, here comes a Garbodor. So let's go ahead and switch out to Gigalith. Oh, if there's anything I've learned from this game is that yeah. We probably should have kept it with a consistent uh amount of Pokemon right here. So let's go straight for a uh, Psybeam and this one will hit ho close to home. Garbodor is not happy. But here comes a double slap. And well right now it's just slapping the you know the bejeebus out of me. So here we go. Psybeam attack again. Yeah buddy. Goodbye. Okay and a Gigalith grows to level 25. Yes, we are rolling right now, and, well, that's three out of the four brothers, I think. And, well, yes, we are opening up some gates to some unknown places right here, and, oh, uh, let's see, there could be an item, could not, no, nope, but there's this guy right here, and he's like, I wonder if self is finished. No, it's not finished. Okay, so, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch our Pokemon. I'm going to take that gamble and go with Gigalith, see what uh, happens right here. And, well, let's see. You're causing it, uh, or causing us problems. Yes, I am. Okay, alrighty, so here we go. Scientists would like to battle. Coming with an Axu. Now, this, this is a little tough. This is going to be tough. Because Axu is a very, very strong attacker. And, well, we're going to put it to sleep. Because, uh, yeah, we don't want any of that smoke right now. And, well, look at this. Axu's asleep. Let's go with Psybeam. The Psy Beam is doing it, and yes, oh wow, it woke up, but look at this. The Psy Beam again, okay. Hakuna Matata. Yeah, buddy, and well, let's see, Zev Striker. So, let's go with Mudslide. Will not be affected. It will not be affected by the, uh, you know, by the type advantages and all that stuff. So, let's go straight for a Mud Shot, and here comes a Stomp. It's stomping the yard against me, and wow. Here we go, Mud Shot does its thing, and well, yeah, well, you're going to try and lower our defenses right there, but Mud Shot is doing this thing again, and it almost defeats Zip Striker, so let's go one more time, and there we go, okay, okay, 
Look at that. And Mudslide has grown to level 27. And... Alright, okay. So we're rolling. We are rolling. Alright, so let's see. Where does this lead me to? To that guy. Okay, so... That right there is not necessary. I think we should go a floor down because there was... There was a spot right there where we... Yeah, we didn't uh, take care of, so... Let's go right ahead and uh, take care of some stuff right here, and... Oh, these beds can't do anything. Yeah, buddy. Working, working. This has almost been an hour right here. So I do apologize for not making this a two-parter, guys. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's see what this is all about right here. Well, this is a bingo. And, well, let's see. What can we find? Oh, an item. And look at this. We found ourselves a TMO3. Nice. Very nice. And, well, another one. And let's see. This guy is like a challenge intruder that must be you! There are a lot of trainers, guys. A lot of trainers. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so here goes Rocket with his sand dial, and I picked the, the worst Pokemon for this situation right here. Alright, let's go ahead and switch out. Let's go straight to Mudslide. And, well, let's see. Okay, let's go right ahead and. Wow! How? Okay, so that was a critical hit. That was not cool. So let's go with Deerling. Okay. Let's go with the double kick attack. Yeah, buddy. Okay. We're working. We're working. There we go. Sandal has not been defeated. And, well, there's a bite attack. Please don't defeat me. Yes, we survive. Okay. And that takes out Sandile, Gigalift, and Deerling grow or gain experience points. And here comes a Crocorock. Yeah, definitely not a Pokemon I want to take on right now at this state. So let's go right ahead and use Oinkinator right here. It's been a while, Oinkinator. Let's go. Low kick. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. And there goes our good old buddy, Crocorock. And... Well... Level 37 is always nice. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. Let's see, what do we need to do? Yeah, we need to revive our Pokemon, but first, let's see what we can find right here. Oh, we've already been here before, so that's a very good spot to go on. And, well, let's see, we do have revive, so. Let's see. Let's go with the revive and give this to Mudslide. Yeah, we have three... Yeah, we have two Pokemon that are pretty powerful, and then the rest are just like, you know, whatever. So there we go, Mudslide. Let's see, let's go with Deerling. And, uh, let's see. Let's try one more time. Okay, so there we go. And, well, let's see. Maybe, just maybe, I should switch out Pokemon. Just to, just, yeah, just to be a little safe. On the safe side right here, so let's see. I am one of the four Rocket Brothers. Okay, so there we go. Another Rocket Brother. Okay, whatever you want. Let's do this. Okay, so here comes a Scraggy, and I think I picked the right Pokemon for this one. Because we got Double Kick. And the Double Kick actually... Well, it picks... Okay, so it's doing something. But here comes that Sand Attack. Oh, God. Okay, so... Here we go. There we go again, and wow. Okay, so here comes a low kick attack again. And this one will actually hurt us pretty badly because we are a normal type. God dang it! Yeah, look at that. Okay, so... Yeah, you gotta love that. You have to love that. Great! Gigalith, let's go. Crap baskets on the Crapsicle Sick. I don't think I have a god dang move. God dang it. Okay, so... Yeah, this is what happens when you don't think, guys. This is what happens. Okay, so never mind. Okay, so we're gonna continue on right here. Let's go straight for a low kick. And... Well... Mm-hmm. That one right there does us some good. Okay. And, yeah, we're gonna stay with Oinkanid right here. And here comes a Mind Foo. Mind Foo, as many of you guys already know, is a pretty strong fighting type Pokemon when you teach it its right moves and all that. And, well, Karate Chop. Gonna hit us pretty hard, but here comes an Ember attack. Okay, look at that. 
There we go, okay, and, well, that's another victory for us right there. And, well, let's see. What do we need to do? Okay, so, yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> wow, there are a lot of Pokemon trainers. Good gravy. Man, they really, 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 like, I I'm looking at this and I'm like, man, they should have just gone soft on this one right here. Okay. Let's go with a hypnosis. I do not need to get super uh, or super fanged. And yes, you are asleep, you asshole watch hog. So let's go Psybeam attack. Okay, and well, it's confused and it is asleep, so that's okay. Let's go right ahead and use another Psybeam attack. And well, it woke up, so it has no choice but to just, uh, well, go to sleep right here. And look at this, Gigalith grows to level 26, very nice, okay, so coming out with a Lipard, do not need that mess right now, so let's go with Oinkinator, and well, Oinkinator is uh, right there, okay, 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 so let's go straight for a low kick attack, there we go, low kick does it, low kick is uh, kicking ass, and well, Let's see, Vanilla Lay- I'm gonna stay put right here with the Pokemon I have. And, well, let's go straight for an Ember attack. Let's see, let's see what we got. Look at that, okay, alrighty! And, well, let's see. Let's just continue on right here. Emolga is looking pretty strong, but I got an Ember attack that can actually, uh... It can actually work against this. Okay, okay, alrighty, so let's go again, and crap baskets! Oh damn, okay, so here we go, Ember attack. Does it sting? Yeah, buddy, okay. Alrighty, okay, so we, we, we've done some stuff right here. And maybe, just maybe, it's time for us to just, like, head on up and finish this whole thing, because god dang, it's been a... Freaking mission, it's damn near an hour right now, and uh, you're really dangerous here. You came to save me? You can't. Okay, so yeah, whatever. Non believer. The Master Ball, which will catch any Pokemon. Or Pokemon. And, okay, so. Oh, damn. Okay, I think it's time for us to just, uh. Yeah, to just. Get to the freaking uh, place, because, man, it. Like, I. Sometimes I wonder what the creators were thinking, and wow. Okay, so there's another trainer. I'm gonna find myself a calcium. I need to revive my Pokemon right here, and well, yeah, Deerling got it. It got its shit rock. So there we go, and let's go with a super potion. Okay, all right. So let's see, what do we got? <laughs> you mistook me for a silk worker. Not really. When you laugh like that, that there, mu there must be some evil behind it. So here we go, Scientist wants the battle, and he's coming with his Ponyard, and well, let's see, Deerling... Let's go, Deerling, do the double kick. Finish it. That's right, finish it. Okay, and then uh, the Faint Attack, okay, so you gotta love Faint Attack as well, and that hits me pretty hard, but here comes a double kick, and the double kick has done it. And, well, let's see, coming with a Vanilla Lick. Let's switch it out. Not going to take that risk right now. Definitely, like, I ain't gonna take that risk right now. And, well, Vanilla Lish. Vanilla -ish. Let's go Ember Attack. And, oh my god, nearly defeats him. And, well, there is a burn right there, and here comes the Aurora Beam. So let's go straight for a burn. And let's finish it out with an Ember Attack right here. Look at that. Okay. All right. And, well, there's another victory for us right there. And, well, let's see. That is that. Okay. So, let's see. Um, let's see. We got to... Okay, so we got to go upstairs probably. Uh, oh. Um... No, this is not the place. Okay, so I'm still trying to look for the area where I last came out, you know, to get those items because, you know, we had to replace items, and I think it's this place right here. Nope, it's Nurse Joy, so let's go ahead and take advantage of this while we're at it. Everybody's healed, and, well, let's see. I've already defeated that guy. 
Man, we are... Yeah, we are lost right here. I think. No, we've already been here. How many trainers do we have left? I mean, shoot. Uh, oh, well, we're in the final floor, so I would have to assume it's like floor number... I want to say number three. Let's go with number three, because that's... I went to number four. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Is this the place? Okay, I think it is. No, okay. This is the place where we can actually get to Gary, but I kind of need to get some items, and... Uh... Let's see. Where in the heck are we? In the heck? Okay, so let's see. Where in Carmen San Diego were we? <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Right here. Uh, we've already been here, I think. Yeah, we've already been here. Uh, my thing is that... Let's see. Are the items right here? No. We've already been here. God dang. Where the hell are we? Huh. Let's see. I'm, I'm getting so confused right now. See, this is what I hate about this the slots place right here. Okay, so this... Oh, here it is. Okay, so this is the place where we left off. And here we found ourselves an HP up. And an X accuracy. Wow, all that for those two items. Okay. Never mind. Let's see what this guy has to say. The rotten president. He shouldn't have sent me to the Takeshi brand. And, of course, we have not battled this guy, so, yeah. I guess that's uh, that's pretty cool right there, huh? I guess so. So here comes a shell map. And, well, here comes Deerling. Let's see what we can do with Dole Kick. And that is not effective. Not one bit, because god dang. And, well, there is a Screech attack that will mess us up. So let's go straight for Oinkinator right here. And Oinkinator will take it from here. And, well, let's see. Let's go straight for an Ember attack. And uh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. And look at that. Okay. And, well, he's coming out with a Fungus, so I guess... You know, I guess we're just going to have to defeat the, these guys with Oinkinator right here because this guy likes to use some kind of Poison-type Pokemon or whatnot. And, well, there it is. Look at that. And say hello to level 38. Okay. And here comes a Pharaoh Seed, so we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to stay put. Let's go. Ember attack. And Pharaoh Seed has been defeated. And, well, let's see. Coming out with a Clink. I'm coming out with a Clank. Let's just defeat this guy. Let's go ahead and uh, destroy him. So here we go. Clink attack. or <laughs> What was it? Uh, fucking Amber attack. And he's coming with an Axe here. I'm going to stay put. I think. Axe you, you have no chance against me. So you should probably give up right here. So here it goes. Seismic toss. Or the win. Oh, crud. And here comes a horn attack. Oh, jeez. Okay, so here we go. Horn attack. Seismic toss attack. It doesn't really matter. We'll still defeat you. And there we go. No more scientists. Okay, so you know what? At this point right now, we're going to go to Gary now because uh, I think I've been here a little too long. Really have. I think. I don't know. Let's go straight to floor number four, I think. Hold on. Yes, floor number four. Okay, it's uh, we, we enough is enough. I think we've overstayed our welcome. I think we I think it's time for us to just move on right here. So let's let's see. Was it four? I don't think it was four. Crap baskets. It's not four. Maybe it's three. Uh, oh yeah, it is three. Okay, alrighty. So, huh, well, let's see what happens. Let us see what happens right here. All right, first is first. We have to have our strongest Pokemon in the front. It can happen. Oh, actually, not not this guy. Let's see. Kill a Croc. Let's go right here. And, well, let's see what happens. <laughs> what kept you, Draven? <laughs> I thought you'd turn up uh, if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Okay, so I thought, okay, why in the, Okay, why were you following us in the first place? I want to know. 
So here we go, going up against Gary himself, and he's coming out with a uh, pheasant and wow, level 37. Okay. So we are in for a battle of a lifetime right here because his Pokemon are going to be very, very strong. And look at this. It does a uh, growl attack. And, well, and pheasant not, not pretty cool anymore. So here comes a Cottony. And we're going to be going straight to Oinkinator right here. And, well, his Pokemon are buffed up. They are buffed up right now. And, well, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let's go straight for an Amber attack, which I was about to press takedown. There we go. And that nearly takes out Cottony right there. So he wastes a turn to heal up his Pokemon with a measly little, uh, whatchamacallit, um, a potion. So that gives us an advantage. And here he's coming out with a Darumaka. So that Pokemon's going to be a little tough to defeat. So we're going to go straight to Kill a Croc. And, well, Darumaka is looking pretty scary right there. Just puny and scary. But we do have a Dig Attack. And it was about to give me a submission attack. Now, Darumaka is a very, very strong physical attacker. Thankfully, it didn't hit us because that would have been bad altogether. And, well, he's coming out with a Zoroark. Let's go ahead and go to Oinkinator. Oink. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's get it. Low kick attack. It's okay. It is okay. Yes, we are getting hurt. It doesn't matter. Low kick, low kick, but guess what? Here we go. There we go. Low kick. We're kicking some ass, taking some names. And, well, here's coming out with a Samurott. This is going to be hard. So we're going to go with Gigalith right here. Samurott at level 40 is a scary, scary Pokemon. So let's go with a Hypnosis. And it's using its focus energy. So that right there is going to be scary. And, well... A waterfall attack. Good gravy. Oh, jeez. Okay, stay, stay, stay. Ah, there we go. Yes! Victory. Okay, so let's go straight for a side beam. We're going to have to hit this guy. With everything we got. And, well, it is a very, very strong Pokemon. So the more we hit it, the more chance we got to actually just like you know to, to actually defeat it with another Pokemon that we have and as of right now it's still asleep so we're getting we're definitely getting an advantage right here so here we go side beam attack again and well we're gonna go with uh, yeah side beam attack so this is four this is a uh, what you call it this is uh, turn number four and it's still asleep, so it might wake up in the next turn right here. So we've been lucky enough for this, so let's go with a Hypnosis. Yes! Okay, so look at that. You see? We plan ahead. <laughs> we plan ahead. Eat it! All right, Samurott. Just go to sleep. Let's go, Gigalith. Showing your worth right here. Let's finish him off, and this guy is still asleep. We win. Oh, yes. Even with under-level Pokemon, we can still whoop your ass, Gary. Look at that. And level 27. Hello, hello. Gary has been defeated. He's like, oh, <laughs> so you are ready for the boss rocket. <laughs> yes, we are. Okay, so, well, Draven, I'm moving up ahead. By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. I'm going to the Pokemon League and boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's uh, most powerful trainer. Draven, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell you later. Flipping you off, homie. I'm flipping you off. Okay, so let's see what the uh, Pokemon, the mystery Pokemon is. And this guy's like, oh, hi, you're not a rocket. You came out uh, to save us. Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves Oshawott. <laughs> and, uh, well, let's see. It is time to name our newest Pokemon right here. I believe we called it Psy. Psy of the Torrent, right? Is it? Let's see. Hold on. Let me let me check my walkthroughs right here because uh, <laughs> yeah, homeboy uh, keeps on forgetting sometimes. Let's see. Hold on, Jim. Later, Draven. Look at that. I'm 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 featured right here. Holy crud. Okay. So let's see. 
Let's go straight to Pokemon Black. And put this volume down. Do you guys hate the commercials? I really do hate commercials. I really do. But without the commercials, apparently without the commercials, you don't get paid. And wow, two commercials. Knock it the F out, man. Seriously, it's getting on my tits. Okay, so let's move. Okay, yes, Oshawott. Come on. Okay. Okay. Okay, everybody's chosen a Pokemon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, battle. Okay, okay. Seriously! Come on. And, well, there is our Pokemon. Let's go... S you know what? Let's go to the next one. Let's go to episode three because we don't need to... Yeah. Okay, let's see. Pokemon battle. There we go. Yes, we have named... This guy is Sigh of the Torrent. I've forgotten your name, man. It's been a while. And it's only been a year since I've actually completed this whole thing. So, kept it in the lab, but it will be much better with us or with you. Yes, you are a good trainer. So, we are keeping this Pokemon. Yes, sir. Sigh of the Torrent, level 15. And, well, look at this. Even up stats, everything is good. And you know what? We do have a D we do have a rare candy. So let's go ahead and use it and evolve this guy to the to the next stage right here. So there it is, level 16. And crap baskets. Completely forgot it evolves at level 18. Never mind. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on right here. There is a Team Rocket member waiting for us. So let's go and switch it out. Give Sai a little bit of a uh, you know experience, and then after that, just uh, you know whatever so here it is stop right there don't you move yes guys we are close we are very very close to the end right here all right team rocket member wants to battle and he is coming out with his scraggy and here is a sigh of the torrent haven't seen you in quite some time and well let's see hmm what can i say what can I say? I, I mean, I can get the group back together whenever I want. And that might be... That might be it. And, well, that high jump kick did not work, does not work against my low kick. But look at this. Oinkinator is getting some points. And here comes a Duosion. Let's go ahead and give Sai another... You know, another uh, experience points right here. And, well, here's Sai of the Torrent yet again. Let's go switch it out to our good old buddy, Krokorok. Because nothing can affect it. Not even a friggin' psychic type Pokemon, and well, there's that recover attack. Does it work? There we go. Crunch attack. Does it? Okay. All right. Psy grows to level 17, and well, I think that's the evolved level. I think I don't know. Probably. I don't know. So let's go straight to Oinkinator right here. And well, let's see. Scrafty, looking uh, like Kung Fu Panda right here, kinda. And, well, there's a low kick. Does it. And, well, here comes a headbutt attack. Can it do it? Will it do it? Not really. So here goes a low kick attack yet again. There we go. Say goodbye to Scrafty and say hello to level 39. Oinkinator doing his thing. Okay. Alrighty. Alright. And Sigh of the Torrent is finally evolving. So there it is, guys. Sigh of the Torrent. It's been a while, man. But in the very first episode we get you is the first episode we evolve you. Holy crud. Okay, so that's cool. All right, so that is that. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here because, uh, yeah, we are in for a battle and crud. Holy crud. Okay, so, yeah, we are going to be going in this. Uh, this is going to be a tough one right here. So. I am going to go for another super potion right here on the strong Pokemon, and I'm not going to mess around this time. Let's go straight for Kill a Croc, and hope for the best right here. So, let's see what happens when this happens. Okay, let's go. It opened, and, well, ah, Draven, so we meet again. The President and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-ups matters, or experience a world of pain. Okay, all right, bring it, just bring it. Okay, so here it is, guys. Another battle against Giovanni. Now, I didn't think that we would get to this guy pretty soon, but it's actually happened, and look at this. This guy is coming out with a Krokorok himself. 
And, well, let's go straight for a dig attack. And this guy's using a guard spec. And, well, that takes out Croc Rock. Holy crud. Kill a Croc, kicking some ass, taking some names. Level 41. Oh, yes. Paplitoad. Okay. So, Paplitoad is a little different. That could be the Pokemon that could mess us up right here. So, let's go right ahead and use Deerling right here. And uh, take advantage of this. Now, it's going to go for a low kick. God dang it. Ten levels ahead. Come on, stop. There we go. And there's the Leech Seed. So now we have a little bit of an advantage right Oh, crap, Baskets. Yeah, press the button a little too quickly. But guess what? We got the Leech Seed off. It's okay. Let's go straight for Kill a Croc right here. Now, there is a big disadvantage, and that is that Paplitoad is a Water-type Pokemon. And, well, there's that. Dig Attack. And, wow, nearly defeats this guy, but here comes a Bubble Beam. And, well, that takes a lot out, but, yes, thanks, dearlings, a Leech Seed. We survive, and, well, here comes a Bufalant, so let's go ahead and switch out. So let's go to Oinkinator, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Bufalant. Pretty much a wannabe uh, Rhyhorn right here, so let's go straight, or not a Rhyhorn, but you know what I mean. There we go, and here comes that horn attack. And, well, horn attack doesn't really work right here, so here we go. Low kick attack for the win. Say goodbye. Okay. And, well, let's see. Excadrill. This Pokemon, this Pokemon could be hard. So let's go ahead and switch him out to kill a croc right here because, uh, well, I want to know who's fast. Now, Excadrill right here doesn't even, I can't even make out its, uh, the way it looks and all that stuff so we're gonna use a dig and here comes earthquake does not work in this one right here and look at that excadrill has been defeated kill a croc you are the goat and he's like ah i lost again mm -hmm. blast it all you ruined our plans for sylph but team rocket will never fail or fall i should say draven never forget that all pokemon exist for team rocket i must go but i shall return and uh, there it is, guys. Look at that. We saved everybody in, in, in within an hour. And well, thank you for saving Sylph. You will never forget. Uh, we will never forget how you saved us in a moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way because I am rich. I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. And here we have the Master Ball. And well, let's see. The Master Ball. You can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype Master Ball. It will catch Pokemon without fail. You should keep quiet about using it, though. Yeah, I probably will. Okay, guys, so that right there is the end of this episode with, uh, you know, the whole self scope. Now, I kind of, the self company, I should say. Yeah, I been I've been meaning to finish this up really, really quickly because, uh, or uh, well, early on because, uh, yeah, because of uh, it takes a long, long time to actually get down there. So. In the next episode, I want to say we are going to be going up to the Karate, the Karate Dojo. And I think we're going to save a few Pokemon Gym Battles here and there. I don't know. It depends. I'm kind of, yeah, wondering what I can do. But here it is, guys. We are back in Saffron and everything's peaceful again. Everything's uh, in working order. So... Stay tuned, guys, in the next episode. We will be going to the Karate Dojo and seeing what, we can, what other Pokemon we can get there. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.